And welcome back one and all, welcome back to Dreamweb. This is part two, and we have to go kill Mr. David Crane. But first, let's go over some things. Massive thanks to Gatch from the SA forums. He pointed out two things. Firstly, that the password the Black Dragon is actually located in a book you get for the game, which I completely bloody forgotten about. So that was their idea of uh, doing uh, security, so you couldn't pirate the game. And number two, he also mentioned you could wear the watch, which I never even thought about trying. Doesn't really do anything, apparently, according to him and from what I've checked, this watch doesn't sort of go in any way, shape or form with the game, so like when we were knocked out earlier, it didn't advance, if you get what I mean. So interesting little tidbits, but they add to the game. It's really odd that I thought to put the sunglasses on, but never try the watch. Anyway, let's go kill us a pop star. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to go to the Regency Hotel. We're going to have to get ourselves a room located near Mr. Crane. We won't actually be able to get on his floor, because not surprisingly, because he's a big rock pop star or whatever. I may be getting this wrong, what he actually is like. But uh, he's booked out the entire room, so we're, like the entire floor, sorry. So we'll have to get the floor below him. And it's quite nifty how we do this. And this uh, next stage also shows off the combat system. And yes, there is a sort of combat system. Okay, Regency Hotel. So luckily, we have loads of money on our cash guard. Let's go talk to the receptionist and get ourselves a room. Uh, she's a middle-aged woman in a red dress. She looks agitated. Uh, she welcomes us to Regency Hotel. We'd like a room. We haven't got many rooms left. Mr. David Crane, the singer, there we go, is staying here tonight. He's got all the best rooms. He has the penthouse suite, but there is a vacant suite below that. That's quite luxurious. Of course we'll take that. How much will it cost? 830 That leaves us with, I want to say, 250 afterward. Okay, we need to put our card in the scanner and she'll give us a room key. And she expectantly looks at us and asks us to use our card. So here we go. Card scanner. Use. Cash card. The room has cost us almost everything we have. And we need this key card. I'm going to start rearranging this inventory at some point because it's getting a bit silly now. We've got a lot of stuff we don't really need anymore, and the clothing can probably go in the third slot. Now, we can't use this elevator unless we've got the card, because it automatically takes us to the floor we want. And I just put that somewhere, didn't I? There it is. Okay, so this will take us to the floor below Mr. Crane's. So we obviously need to get up to the next floor. To do that, we need to take a slight trip down the corridor. We won't actually even bother going to our room, but we'll access this here, fire point. And we'll take the fire axe. Now, we do want to change this around slightly, because we're going to need access to the fire axe and the gun in quick succession. Okay, now we get back into here. And we need to... Now, memory serves... We need to use maybe using the knife. There we go. We push the edge of the knife into the uh, gap between the control box and its front panel, pulling the front panel off, leaving the wires to dangle down. We are basically going to try and disable the um, the lift. So now it won't work. Okay. Now, we, what we've just done is there was a handle which, if we turn it, allows us to actually get to the top of the, uh, the lift. It's one of those emergency exit signs. Now, this is where it all gets a bit funky. On the lift doors, we're going to use the axe, which will pry them open, I think. It could be the screwdriver. Nope, there we go. The axe pushes them apart. There's just enough gap for us to get through. So this is where it all gets a bit funky. I'm going to put my mouse over here on purpose. There are two guys. Both armed. Now, 
if we go straight for our gun, that guy will, the first guy who's drawn will shoot us. But if we swing the axe first, he will miss. So that's him taken down. And then we use the gun. And that's his guards dead. Mr. David Crane is down here. Oh, there might be uh, some sort of censorship here. <laughs> I forgot about this. In uh, some territories, if I remember rightly, this is actually um, censored out anyway. He's actually wearing boxer shorts, and I don't believe there's actually the sex scene. Okay, the bedroom is a mess. Clothes lie on the flourish of law. Loud music blares out from a concealed speaker. On the bed is David Crane. Let's talk to him. So this sort of goes against the whole idea that uh, Ryan is insane. Fair enough, you could argue that David Crane's not saying this and Ryan's just, like, thinking he is. But this does add to the fact that maybe he is actually sane and that he is actually working for a good cause. It won't do any good killing me. It'll only make the others stronger. I must kill you, then the nightmares will end. Uh, that does again, though, lead to him being slightly insane. He begs us to spare him. We do not. Use! Goodbye, Mr. Crane. To actually lend itself to the idea that Ryan is actually sane, though, you could do the argument of how the hell was he able to escape the penthouse floor, okay? if this uh, teleportation thing wasn't real. Because he's already blown out the lift. Now you could argue that yes, there might be some emergency stairs, but we never actually see the escape. We'll see what I mean soon, once we've done this first Dreamweb area. Okay, let's talk to the uh, Keeper. He stands before us, head bowed. You have chosen your path. It has begun. The power released from the human crane has entered the Dreamweb. Okay, his life energy must be consumed by the Dreamweb. Use the key of the ancestors to unlock the power. That would be the key that we got in the microwave earlier in the game. There are six more to go. We can feel the fact there are six more. They're trying to recruit more followers. Okay, our next target is Sterling. He commands the largest armed force on Earth. We must destroy him, and we know what we must do. Okay. Down here. I'd actually be being, uh, slightly intrigued. A lot of people who have put comments on these videos so far have played the game before. But I'd like to sort of know, what do you think? Is this guy insane, or is he uh, actually uh, working for a just cause? Now I should mention what we just did there. There's a crystal which we need later on in the game. We don't need it now. But it will, um, once we kill Sterling, they will sort of hint, hey, you want to pick this up. I think this is the right door? No, it's this one here. Actually, a quick note as well. Notice the clock's on 12.04. I'm going to be intrigued to see what the clock's on when we actually get back to the real world. Now, this is the plinth. We have to put the key in. And then David Crane's soul will be absorbed into the Dreamweb. Nope, it's exactly the same. The clocks have really lost opportunity to have time progression in here. Now, what I said about, oh, there isn't really a good way of him escaping from that uh, hotel. This could be the garbage chute right outside the hotel, which would then mean, again, that the dream thing didn't happen. Again, lending to the idea that Ryan's insane, so he could have just dropped out the garbage chute to here. It doesn't actually say if this is next to the hotel or not, but I find it to be a bit of an odd place for him to reappear. Surely the keepers would have put him back in his apartment. Which is where we're going to go now, actually, because we need information about uh, Sterling. Okay. 
Keypad. Use. I want to say it's 5108. I don't think it is, though. No, okay. Let's uh, just check my bit of paper. 5106. Close, close. 5106. Okay. Now, we want to use the computer. And this is how we're going to find information out about Sterling, where he is. Okay, log on, Ryan. Black Dragon. Um, and then we want to list. And it's Newsnet. Now, if we want, I think. If memory serves, we can also list Crime Wave and it mentions the David Crane murder, I think, anyway. Oh no, sorry, I want read, don't I? Here we go. The murder of the rock star David Crane in the last few hours has shocked the city. Police as ever repeated that everything is under control. But when we ask ourselves, is it time we took the law into our own hands? What's quite interesting about this crime way thing is it says there's been escalating murders by pretty much they suspect one guy. These nightmares have been going on for quite some time with Ryan, so there's every chance that he's been murdering people left, right and centre. But we don't know that for a fact. Okay, let's uh, list Newsnet again. And now we want to uh, read TV special. Okay, here we go. General Sterling is doing a broadcast on Channel 5. Channel 6, oh sorry, Channel 6. Channel 6 News, I think I know where that is. So he's giving an interview. Let's go crash the party. Down the elevator. Now, this is slightly different than David Crane. David Crane had two armed bodyguards. As this is an actual, like, war hero, he's got military personnel. So, what we need to do is we need to go as far over as we can. There's one of the military grunts. Now, this is the other slight interesting thing about this particular scenario. In terms of David Crane, the grunts, or at least one grunt, drew his gun first. What we're about to do really paints Ryan in a bad light. Okay. So here we have this delightful security guard. If we try to talk to him, he will say, oh no, you can't enter. We're going to kill him in cold blood. Now, as you can see, um, yeah, did we really need to do that being the uh, main question? So that's the, that's the first innocent that Ryan's killed. So we've got to use the control panel. And that will open up the rear doors. So now we've got access to the studio. If the uh, Keepers of the Dream Web were really that good, they would have just teleported him inside of the studio to kill him, if that makes any sense, which does sort of pose upon the hang on, this can't be real. Okay, um, I've just gone the wrong way. Back we go. We need to grab this brochure. The brochure itself isn't anything of importance, but underneath is a key card, or you know, a pass card, sorry, which we'll put at the back. And then by using this pass card, we can now get into this door down here. 
This is all slightly convoluted, but actually makes a lot of sense. It's not like some point and click adventure games, where you just have to pick up a random item. So we have a fuse box over here. Now we're going to need the fuse out of this box. Because the way we're going to kill uh, Sterling involves a nice little bit of machinery. Unfortunately, that little bit of machinery, let's put that at the back, has a blown fuse. So unless we replace the fuse, we can't kill him. Up here is the entrance to the studio. There's no point going that way. The red lights are on, the doors are locked. But if we go up here, we'll be able to go up a ladder to get onto the upper level of the studio. Now, as someone who does and has worked in the entertainment uh, industry as a technician, I have to question this. Okay, so you've got your main cameras. Now, I would expect up here to be sort of lighting bars and lighting rigs. Not a crane with a crate on the end. But oh well. Okay, so we use the winch control. We take out the blown fuse. We put in the new fuse. And then we use. At no point does anyone uh, look up at the noisy, noisy winch and go, Hey, what are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, the death of General Sterling. And once again, we are back in the dream web. Let's talk to the keeper again. You have done well. Sterling's power has been absorbed, but the remaining five are aware of our presence. They will now try and stop you. Now they have a leader. What's his name? Sartain, or Sartain, I don't know, but he's a wealthy and influential businessman. He'll be our next target. How will I find him? He's close to someone you know. Basically, um, our girlfriend Eden has contacts to him. But we'll reveal that next time. So here we go, it says oh, you also must find a crystal. Well, we've already done that. Crystal has the power that will protect you. We will use it a lot later on in the game. Okay, now we need to go release uh, Sterling's essence into the dream web. And then we'll call it there for an episode. So I think it's this way and it's the other door. Nope, we've got to go all the way to the other side. Typical game. Open sesame? There we go. Let's release his essence. And that's not sexual at all. And I think next time when we come back, I will actually attempt to sort this inventory out. Or inventory, as some people have pointed out. It's inventory to me, I don't care. And here we go, we're outside Sparky's. And we will save our game there, ladies and gentlemen. So join me next time as we go after Satan and whoever else is next on our list. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you next time.